Hi everyone, I'm delighted to welcome you to our virtual open day where you're going to get to see what CAFRI has to offer someone hoping to become a professional florist. I'm a first year level 3 student at Greenmount. All I can tell you is that the course, staff and facilities here are amazing and are unique in the island of Ireland. If like me, you want to combine your creative spirit with a passion for flowers along with the science and business skills, then Floristry at Greenmount is definitely the place for you. Greenmount is such a friendly place to study, no matter what course you're studying. I came here after my GCSEs and I'm really enjoying the learning by doing. I've made lots of friends too and there's plenty of crack both inside and outside the classroom. The campus is set in 20 acres of landscape gardens with specialist floristry facilities. It's located two miles south of Antrim town and 20 miles from Belfast. There is a regular bus service from Antrim so it's easy to get here. All the lecturers are lovely. As well as being experts in the field of floristry, they are always very supportive and really generous with their time. The course also brings really strong links to industry. And I know that many of those working in Northern Ireland's floristry industry have passed through our gates and have benefited from CAFRI's well-established reputation for training those wishing to pursue a career in floristry. I am so glad I chose CAFRI and I hope you will too. So welcome and I hope you enjoy what's to follow. Hello, you're very welcome to our virtual open day for CAFRI Floristry. My name is Laurie Hartman and I'm one of the senior lecturers here at CAFRI and I manage the Further Education Floristry program based at Green Mountain Campus. Uh, I'm joined today by my colleague Anne-Marie. Anne-Marie Grant is our level three uh, course manager. Um, and so today we just want to chat through with you a little bit about the programs we offer here in floristry. But before we do that, I think Anne-Marie it's important to distinguish for folks exactly what floristry is because I think a lot of people are aware of sort of flower arranging and what you might do at home, but how does floristry differ from just flower arranging? Okay, well Laurie, flower arranging is really for yourself. It's doing something that you like and creating things that you like for your home. Um, but floristry um, is more for customers. It's about dealing with customers and creating things that a customer wants. And it's um, making designs uh, for all sorts of different occasions that they would have. So you would be doing the highs and the lows um, of people's lives. So from um, births, engagements, marriages, right through to deaths. And some people prefer doing um, the sort of the flowers for the happier times, but you also get a great sense of satisfaction from doing flowers for the sad times in people's lives as well. So really, there's a lot more to the floristry industry that I think people realize. And that's one of the things I always find so fascinating is, as you said, you know, you're dealing with customers yeah. coming to you with many different reasons for coming into your shop. Um, and so there's that side. There's the artistic side. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. there's the joy of working with flowers and the beauty of it, but you also need to have a bit of business acumen uh, to be in a flower shop and be in the industry. Yeah, yeah, you do. Every flower has cost you money um, or has cost your boss money and you have to justify um, that cost if it gets damaged or if it's uh, lost. Um, so you have to be very careful with stock rotation so that you're using all your older flowers up before you're using your new flowers. Um, you also have to think, what can I do with that flower that has broken? Um, and we try and get the students to be um, aware that it's money, that flower is not just a flower, it's actually money as well. And you should try and do something. So whether it's making a little cupcake um, design or a little design in a jam jar to sell to, to a customer, or whether it's making um, the, the broken rose into a buttonhole to sell, it's very important that um, you think about the, the economics of it all as well. Well, here at CAFRI, we offer two different courses in floristry. We've got the Level 2 Technical Certificate in Floristry and the Level 3 Advanced Technical Diploma. Both of these are currently offered as full-time, one-year-long courses. So to begin with, I just want to run through a little bit about the Level 2 program. Um, again, it, it's considered full-time, but that means you're at CAFRI for three days a week uh, doing floristry here on campus. And then one day a week is spent in a work placement, and that really needs to be in a flower shop. Yeah. And that kind of links to all the things we've been saying here yeah. about getting used to being in the industry. 
Okay? Um, I think at level two, uh, the sort of misunderstanding sometimes is that, you know, it's a lower level course, but really it's, it's the start of a floristry career is what the way we look at it because yeah. to make any kind of arrangement, um, you need to know the structure. So in order to be able to walk into a shop and have that shop owner ask you to make something, you need to know the technical details of it. Yeah, that's right. So I think if you were to walk into a level two classroom, you'd see you know 15 arrangements that are very similar to what the lecturer has made. Yeah. And in, in a bit, we'll talk more about how that differs from level three. Mm -hmm. um, so at this point, we're going to join student Elaine Craig, who is a current level two student here at Caffrey. Hi, everyone. I'm Elaine, and I'm studying the level two technical certificate in floristry here at Greenmount campus. I love flowers, and I love the outdoors, being surrounded by nature. From an early age, you'd find me picking wildflowers along with the odd weed and proudly presenting them to my mum in a jam jar. Now fast forward to age 16 and my first summer job was a Belfast-based florist. That's when the seed was sown. It was there I discovered the powerful impact flowers can have at significant times in our lives. Since then, I've ticked all the boxes, marriage, children and a career, but still felt I should have pursued my love for floristry. I tuned into last year's virtual open day for floristry, followed this up by accepting Caffrey's invitation for a campus tour and was instantly sold. My classroom is a flower shop. All Caffrey courses involve an element of work experience, which might be a bit daunting for some, but I must say I'm thoroughly enjoying mine. As well as creating various types of arrangements, I'm building on my customer service skills and gaining managerial experience as well as learning so much about market trends. With the added bonus of applying the knowledge and skills taught in class, I have become more confident and I'm excited to learn all there is to know about floristry. You can probably tell that I'm loving my time at Caffrey. The lecturing team are so knowledgeable and generous with their time. The practical hands-on nature of this course really suits me. I've learned lots about the fundamentals of floristry design and how to care for floristry products. I've made lots of friends too, both young and young at heart. After I graduate in June, I hope to continue enjoying Caffrey student life and have already applied to progress onto the Level 3 Technical Diploma. I'm looking forward to learning more about the design and evaluation elements of arranging and the business skills us florists need. After that, I have plans to set up my own floristry business to marry with my current complementary therapy enterprise, The Little Patch of Heaven, thereby creating the perfect combination of helping and healing people in their life journey. What I would tell someone considering studying floristry with Caffrey. Just do it. The career opportunities are vast and varied when you choose to work with flowers. Trust me, you will not regret it. That was great to hear Elaine's story and her experience with Level 2 floristry. Um, so, Anne-Marie, you manage the Level 3 uh, program here at Greenmount. Can you tell us a little more about how the Level 3 differs from Level 2 and what students can expect when they progress up to Level 3? Okay. Well, as yourself and Elaine has said in, in your videos, um, the Level 2 is a really great foundation for um, floristry for going into a floristry business. Um, some people come in with um, expectations that they'll be playing with flowers all day long and it's not like that at all. It's a very commercial um, course. When you move on to level three, um, it's a bit more about putting your own personality into the design. It's a bit more about being creative um, and sort of breaking the rules that you have already learnt. Mm -hmm. So you still are able to make the symmetrical triangle or the asymmetrical triangle, but you can now move the flowers into the design right. um, to suit yourself or to suit the shop that you're working in and the clientele that would be coming into that shop. 
Um, the course itself has um, a big focus on practical skills. Mm -hmm. So we look at arrangements that are in foam, we look at arrangements that are um, wired and glued and also all sorts of different things that are hand tied. And I think there's a big um, movement at the minute um, to not use floral foam and that type of mechanics um, for the the economic, um, not the economic the side, sustainability. the sustainability yeah. um, aspect. Um, and um, we are now looking at making designs in um, chicken wire frames and using um, moss um, and going out of all of the, the foam that we would have used. We're also looking at hand tied designs um, that would be in vases rather than in the traditional aqua pack. Mm -hmm. So it's really about looking at that type of thing, thinking about sustainability and seeing where you can bring it on, especially in the hand tied designs. That's really interesting because it just shows that, you know, it, there is so much more to floristry than just the flowers. Yeah, mm -hmm. the flowers are obviously very important um, and learning names of flowers, the botanical names of flowers is really, really um, important in both level two and level three. So you get a basic list in level two and then you add to that in the level three course. So it's plants, flowers and foliage is all very important. Um, for the... the um, the practical sides, um, it really is looking at different um, designers, um, looking at different um, aspects of things that you might be asked to do within a floristry business. So it's wrist corsages, it's necklaces, it's belts, it's um, designs for your anklet. You know, it's, mm -hmm. it's stretching what you've learned in level two into something a bit more creative, but still something that's very, very commercial. Um, we could sit and play with flowers all day and play with making designs all day, but it still has to be a very commercial aspect. And that's something that we look at in depth in floristry and level three. Yeah, no, that's great. I think um, it's important as well to point out to folks that on both level two and level three, the flowers are provided as part of the course. They are, um, there yeah. are no course fees. But if students want to take their flowers home with them, we do have a small fee that's yeah, um, every semester. Yeah. Um, but the good thing is everything's there for you to do on campus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So with that in mind, I think at this point we'll take a little look uh, with our other floristry tutor, Sherry Suet, who manages the Level 2 program. And she's going to give us a little whistle stop tour of the floristry facilities here at Greenmount. Hi, I'm a member of the floristry lecturing team here at Greenmount campus. I teach on both the level two and level three floristry program and I'm also year manager for the level two group. I was involved in my family floristry business from an early age and later studied floristry and worked in the industry before joining Caffrey. The floristry studio is set within the beautiful surroundings of the wall garden at Greenmount campus. Originally, these buildings were on the site of the original patting sheds and were repurposed as part of the Millennium Restoration of the Wall Garden. Today the floristry facilities are set up to replicate a flower shop scenario. Entering the studio we have the front of house where we showcase floral pieces, have flower fridges and a sales counter. The students use this space throughout the year to create window displays, practice packaging their finished pieces and even sell floral arrangements with Caffrey staff. Two dedicated classrooms reflect the typical back of house where all the floristry skills are honed to produce beautiful designs. In the classrooms, students work at raised benches and have access to a full range of sundries and floristry tools to work on their designs. More recently, the college invested in the plant studio as a more versatile shop space. Floristry students not only learn about the cut flowers that make up most arrangements, but also about indoor plants, which are a vital aspect of many floristry businesses. We also take advantage of our links with the horticultural programme, sourcing flowers and foliages from the horticulture centre where possible. When working closely with the floristry industry, we are ensuring that our graduates meet the high standard the industry demands. A vital part of both floristry courses is a weekly work placement. It allows students to experience the reality of working in a commercial flower shop and apply what they have learnt directly to the needs of their clients. I hope you have enjoyed this virtual tour of our floristry facilities and I look forward to you joining this exciting and creative course next September.
So hopefully that gives you a good idea of what it would be like to study here at CAFRI in our floristry department. Uh, if you are interested in seeing the campus in person, we are having some campus tours this weekend and you can book those online. Now, um, I'm joined here with, by Andrew Smith, who is a former floristry student um, of CAFRI's and he's come along to tell us a little bit about his experience. So um, thanks very much, Andrew, for coming. Um, can you tell me a little bit, you know, what is it that got you interested in floristry and how did you discover the course at CAFRI? So I had finished my degree in design and after that I had heard from a friend about the course up here in CAFRI. So I decided in September just to apply and see how I got on. So I decided the best option was to do the level two in floristry and to find out to give me a better basis or foundation of what floristry was um, and the learning of flowers, um, the techniques and everything. So that's basically how I started in floristry. I think that's really interesting because, you know, as you said, you already had a degree in design, but yet you still came on to the level two program to really get that solid understanding of floristry, which is so important. So did you go straight on to the level three program after that? So after finishing level three, I went straight into the level three mm -hmm. program. And the level three was, it was still technical. Um, you're still learning, but you were able to put your own stance on to the course and the things that you were making. The, yes. The designs you were making. A bit of your own flair and personality yeah. into the design. And that's so important in floristry, I think. Um, and I think as well, am I right in thinking you were involved in some competitions while you were at Greenmount? Yep, so I went to the Word Skills over in Birmingham. Um, fantastic opportunity. So it was, and it was uh, a lot of preparation uh, from the Sherry and Anne Marie mm -hmm. as well. Um, brilliant experience um, and well worth it. I suppose it's a bit of pressure <laughs> to be in that kind of situation. But I guess you could say that in the floristry industry, you do sometimes have a little pressure in that someone might need flowers within the week or something like that. Yeah. So you don't know what's coming in the door in the shop. Um, somebody might need it there and then. So yes. you have to make it there and then. Um, and there's a lot of preparation weddings and <laughs> ordering flowers and a lot of funeral work, sometimes last minute. Uh, so you have, to, you have to have a bit of pressure too. And it keeps you motivated as well. Yeah, so I think that's part of why we like to get students involved in competitions here at CAFRI because it just adds that different element to the course. Um, and as you say, it gives them a different experience. Um, and so when you finished with your course, your level three floristry at CAFRI, were you able to get a job pretty much straight away? Yep, so after finishing at CAFRI, I went on to work full time in the flower shop. Very good. Um, and I'm still there in the flower shop. So, um, and what shop are you working in? So I work in Quake's Forest. Very good. And that's a very busy shop. It is very busy. Yes. <laughs> um, so, no, that's brilliant. And I'm really pleased that your career has progressed and that you were able to join us today. So thank you very much, Andrew. Thank you. Um, I think at this point we're going to now be joined by uh, Matthew Orr, who's going to give us a little tour of the campus facilities for accommodation. Hi, my name is Matthew and I am a student on the BSc Honours Degree in Agricultural Technology. Let me show you around Greenmount to give you a feel for what it's like to live and study here. There is a range of accommodation on campus which is competitively priced. The under 18 students stay in either Boyd or Fulton Hall. The bedrooms in Boyd Hall are en suite and comfortable. You can add your own bits and pieces to make it more homely. The over 18 students live in the self-catering accommodation in either one of the bungalows or the student lodges. With ensuite bedrooms, a shared kitchen, sitting room, laundry facilities, you can come and go as you like. <music> student areas are accessed via key card and college attendants are on duty through the night so it's a safe and secure place to live. The main place to eat on campus is a manor restaurant. It's open from 8 in the morning to 6 at night. Snacks and drinks are also available in the Cyber Cafe, which is open until 10 at night. So there is absolutely no excuse for anyone to go hungry. Most students have a cater card, which works the same way as a prepaid card, so you don't have to carry cash about. 
classes and social activities mostly take place in the Greenmount Resource Centre, or as we call it, the GRC. The accommodation manager, Chris, and the residential support team are based here in the evenings. They are here to help with any queries or issues we may have. Staff, along with the student representative committee, arrange events like going to the cinema, ice skating, and various sporting activities or outings to Belfast. Students have full use of the gym and sports hall as well. Some of the staff run a cookery club in the evenings, which is great crack, and we get to eat what we cook, so there is plenty to do. The Cyber Cafe is also the main social hub for students. There's TVs, pool and football tables, or computer games to enjoy. The core to any college is the library. Greenmount's library has a great selection of journals and books, as well as an extensive collection of e-learning materials. The pods are useful for group work and also they offer a quiet place to study. Greenmount is only three miles from Antrim. It has everything we need in terms of shops, cafes, restaurants and entertainment. We're only 30 minutes away from Belfast. There is a real sense of community at Greenmount. Students come from all over Northern Ireland and further afield. It's easy to make friends with people who are studying subjects that you are really interested in. College life offers new opportunities, it's so different to school. I hope you enjoyed the tour and maybe I will see you here next year. So I hope you enjoyed that little tour of our accommodation facilities at Greenmount. Um, and interestingly, Anne-Marie, you're part of the residential support team here at CAFRI. Can you tell us a little bit about your role on that team? Yeah, Laurie, that's right, I am. Um, there's a number of us that are on a team, um, male and female, and we're on duty every night um, on a rota basis to look after the students when they're here. And we would set up clubs and societies for them um, to be involved in. We have lots of things. We have um, a driving force um, where the students go up um, to the yard and drive tractors and um, do manoeuvres and things like that. They also do things like um, badminton club, uh, there's um, a shooting club as well, we've just um, established a shooting club um, and I am involved in a supper club that we do every Tuesday night and we've just had a really successful uh, Pancake Tuesday last week um, so we had lots of different things um, uh, with the students um, involved with making the pancakes and obviously eating the pancakes. Yes, well it sounds like good fun to be part of campus life. It is, then. Uh -huh. um, So thanks for that. Just again as a reminder if you are interested in visiting the campus, we do have campus tours taking place uh, on 11th and 12th of March, um, and both myself and Anne-Marie will be available to chat to folks who come and visit. Um, also, if you're interested in applying for the course, just give it a go. It's, uh, you just apply on the website, and once we get your application, um, I'll make contact with applicants in due course, and we'll have a little chat to make sure that we find the right course for you. Um, now, to finish off tonight, we just want to leave you with a little video, Caffrey, A College That Cares. Caffrey staff, supporting you to achieve your potential. Hello, I'm the Greenmount Librarian and I manage our learning resources in the library. The library was refurbished a couple of years ago and provides a welcoming place to study. Students love to come here to get books, journals or e-learning materials. It's also a great place to research on your own or in groups. As Simon and due dates approach, the library can get really busy, but I'm always on hand to offer support. Hi, I'm the Student Services Manager at Greenman Campus. Along with the residential support team, I'm responsible for managing student accommodation and providing pastoral care to all students. We are available in the evenings and overnight to make sure that everyone stays safe and well. We organise a weekly programme of evening activities to help you make new friends and settle into college life. Your welfare and safety is our priority. As a student support officer, I help students who have specific learning needs. I try to make the transition from school to college life as smooth as possible and have the support in place to help them complete their qualification. I usually meet the students before they start their course and agree a bespoke programme of support. 
They may need some extra time during exams or the allocation of support tutors. I am also the leading safeguarding officer for CAFRI and work in partnership with all staff to ensure that learners receive a high level of pastoral care. Hi, I'm a lecturer in the floristry course here at Greenlight Campus and I'm the year manager for Level 3. It is a fantastic job as I teach people who are really interested in what they are doing and I get to share my passion for flowers and plants. I also encourage and support students who take part in UK skills and other floristry competitions such as RHS shows at Chelsea and Tatton Park. It's great to see students build skills, progress and grow in confidence.